Hi, this is Steve Pavlina, and today I'm going to talk to you about creating abundance. How to shift away from a scarcity mentality and towards an experience of reality where you're just putting out this constant abundance vibe, and that's what you're getting back. That's what you're experiencing in life. So, not having a situation where you feel like you're lacking the resources you need to experience what you want to experience in life. Having just absolute, total abundance of resources in your life, of, of money flowing through your life, of opportunities, of friendship and connection with other people. Whatever you want to experience there, it's, it's absolutely present in your life and you can just simply tap into it and enjoy it. Okay? Instead of feeling a state of lack where what you really want is somewhere outside of your reality and it's, you're missing out on it. Now, one of the things people say to me often is like, they'll say, okay, Steve, it's easy for you to experience a state of abundance. Look, you, you have lots of money flowing through your life. You have lots of friends and so on. So for you to say, you know, here's how to create abundance mindset. Well, you know, obviously it's happening because you got money, you got friends and stuff. You have all these resources, you have business opportunities, and that therefore, of course, you're going to feel abundant. As if that stuff is what caused my feeling of abundance. And what do I say to those people? I say, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. That is exactly the opposite of the truth. In fact, anyone who says that kind of thing is simply giving their power away to circumstances. They're projecting their power outside themselves. They're giving their power away to money or to relationships or to opportunities. And they're saying that all those things outside themselves are stronger than they are. And that's a really, really stupid thing to do. That is exactly a thing that arises from the scarcity mindset itself. Okay, if you are mired in scarcity, that's how you will think. You will think that money itself, for example, will make you feel more abundant. But is that really true? I mean, think about that for a moment. What do you think would happen to you if, say suddenly, out of the blue, your finances improve by a factor of 10? Let's say you have 10 times as much money in the bank, and you have um, all your debts gone, it's all wiped out, and you have 10 times as much income. How would you actually feel? Well, some people would probably say, yeah, I'd feel, I love that, I'd feel excited. But really, I'd say what you'd most likely would feel is you'd probably feel a little anxious and stressed because you're, you're being taken outside your comfort zone. If you've never had that experience before, it's going to be something new for you and you're not going to be used to it. And you're going to be thinking things like, like, what happened? How did I get here? How did I reach this point? How do I hold on to it? How do I avoid losing all this money? How do I avoid sinking back to the old place I was? You're going to be a little nervous. You're going to be a little scared. And even if you got used to it after a while, it's not going to automatically create a feeling of abundance. You could very easily just raise your expenses up to that level and be right where you were. Okay, you, may, you, may, you may have a situation where your, your wants begin to pull ahead of your ability to fulfill those wants. You know, we just get greedier and greedier and you're back in your scarcity state again because now you have desires you still can't fulfill. More money is not going to solve the problem. That's certainly not what solved the problem for me. Okay, the truth is, if you want to create an experience of abundance, you can do that no matter where you are financially. It does not matter. I mean, what worked for me, I started on this path when I was deep in debt, okay? Uh, about 10 years ago, I was $150,000 in debt, and I was having a negative cash flow, I was about to declare bankruptcy, and I was getting kicked out of my apartment because I couldn't pay the rent. And I was broke. Didn't really have any money at the time. And I was very frustrated because I'd been on this path for years and it was just sinking further and further debt. It wasn't working. I was trying to run a business in a way that just was not making any money. And I just got mired in this idea of financial scarcity. And there's like so much stuff I wanted to experience in life and it was always like, I can't afford it. You know, I, it's always outside my ability to, to bring it to me because of the lack of financial resources. And I thought this is really lame to be living this way. And one day I walked down to the beach. I was living in Marina del Rey, California at the time. I just went for a walk on the beach to kind of clear my mind. And I sat down on the beach near the Santa Monica Pier, and I just looked out at the ocean. And I thought, huh, you know, this is kind of nice. It's kind of a beautiful place. I mean, the, the surf is coming in, and, the, you know, the waves are crashing against the seashore, and I'm sitting on the nice warm sand, the sun's shining, there's seagulls flying overhead, there's children playing further down the beach, people are having fun on the Santa Monica Pier. And I thought, you know, this part of the reality th that I'm experiencing is not so bad. You know, I come down the beach any time and I can enjoy that, but when I go back and have to deal with my finances, it feels so disempowering. And I thought, you know, why, why do I have to let my negative financial situation ruin my entire life? There's so much good stuff going on in my life. For example, I was doing a lot of distance running at the time, and I thought, you know, I can do a 15-mile run. Why don't I feel good about that instead of feeling bad about being $150,000 in debt? 
and just start focusing on the good things in my life. And what happened is, like, I, I looked out at the ocean and I said, you know, this is kind of cool. I get to come into the ocean and enjoy it anytime I want. And I said, at least you're free. You know, at least, at least you, Mr. Ocean, don't call me ten times a day saying, when can you make a payment? And I, I started thinking, why am I putting so much energy in, a, in the, the crappiest part of my life? Why am I feeding that so much time and energy and attention? It's not really helping. It, was, it wasn't making it better. I thought, why don't I just take my energy and just simply withdraw it from that and practically ignore all that negative stuff in my life and just focus on all the stuff I want, all the stuff I want to experience. And it was a way of basically saying, you know, I'm going to stop feeding my power to all this negativity. I'm going to stop feeding my power to all the stuff that's outside my control. I'm going to withdraw the power back into myself and then feed it into things I want to experience. So I started focusing on, like, what do I want to experience? I want to have an experience of just abundance in life. I want to experience creativity. I thought, what do I really want to do with my time? What I really want to do is I, I wanted to create a, a cool computer game that people would enjoy. So I focused my time on doing that. And I, I shifted my energetic frequency that I was putting out in such a way that I was able to succeed on that path. And a year later, my financial, my financial situation was stable. And several years later after that, it was extremely abundant because I learned how to start shifting what I was putting out. Now, now, what do I mean by the vibration you're putting out? Well, many people talk about this thing called the abundance mindset or the scarcity mindset. I think that's a rather misleading way of describing this phenomena. And that, you know, that's the way I've used in the past kind of casual, in casual conversation. I might talk about abundance mindset or scarcity mindset. I know I've written at least one article where I talked about the abundance mindset. But it's not so much a mindset because a mindset makes you think it's something up here in your mind, like a thought process. That's part of it, but that's really the least important part of it. And if you get stuck in thinking that I have to think about money a certain way and that that will create abundance, it's not going to work, really. You'll, you'll just hold yourself back and you'll run yourself in circles for years. Believe me, I've tried that, okay? It doesn't really work. Better way of thinking about it, I think, is in terms of an abundance heart set. It's really more of a feeling than a thought. Okay? And I'd say a better way of thinking about it than that, even, is thinking of it as abundance vibe that you're putting out. Okay, think about... Um, imagine you're going to a party, okay, and you go to a party and you're meeting some new people you've never met before. And at that party, you're, you get a certain feeling off each person you're connecting with. So you go, oh, okay, over here, here's a woman who's like very gregarious and outgoing and fun-loving, and oh yeah, I'd love to connect with her. She's, she, seems, she, she, she seems like a lot of fun. I can tell she's just putting out a fun vibe right away. Over here, there's some guy sitting in the corner kind of by himself. He looks a little shy, a little aloof, you know, getting kind of a, a, a disconnected, aloof vibe from that guy. Over here, oh my god, that guy over there looks kind of creepy to me. You know, do doesn't have a good feel to me. Don't think I want to talk to that person. Now you notice like some people have, put, they put out vibes that just draw you in, they just attract you. Other people put out vibes that they kind of repel you. But really the vibe that people are putting out is something you can pick up even at a distance. You, you pick it up from their body language, you just pick it up from the energetic signature that they're putting out. Now you yourself are also putting out this energetic signature. Okay? Your whole being is, you could say, vibrating or resonating at a certain frequency. Okay? And abundance is a different frequency of energy that you're putting out than scarcity. And it's a frequency that you create. Now, anything you do where you're assigning more power to something outside yourself than within yourself, that's part of the scarcity, the scarcity vibe. Okay? When you withdraw the power into yourself and you maintain the power to create what you want to experience, that's an abundance vibe. Because now, you have the power to manifest or create whatever you want. That is abundance. Okay, knowing that you can create whatever you want, that's abundance. Feeling like you can't create something you want, that's scarcity. Okay, so that power must be withdrawn back into you to really have an abundance vibe. 